Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial kind of chit chat. Get ready with me on this Luke Rot here. This is kind of like in the theme of like my wash of color looks. I've done pink, teal, and yellow in the past, and not that they've all been called like wash of whatever, but it's kind of this simple one color eye look. I really have been obsessed with this color for some reason. Recently, I've just been drawn to this color. To me, this is like a little bit of a two toned look. Like it's the same color, but different tones, if that makes sense. I feel like the lilac on the top is more like warm and then the one on the bottom is more like cool gray undertone and it's also brought up in like a little wing and yeah i'm really excited for this look because i just love this makeup so much and this lip is like so simple but it looks so good for this look if you do this be sure and tag me on instagram i really hope you all enjoy the video and let's just get started i'm actually gonna start off this look with my face like i know right that never happens i've literally just been obsessed with the color lilac or lavender, baby purple, whatever you want to call it. I know, I've never heard the word baby purple. We use baby blue, which is like a pastel or like lighter version of blue, and we use baby pink, which is like a pastel or a lighter version of pink. So why can't we use baby purple or baby green? A week ago I did this look and I really liked it. I just primed with the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer, and I've actually been starting to like kind of pat it out like after I use it just to make sure that there's no clumps anywhere. No lines, since I don't use foundation, not every little thing is going to be covered up. Today I'm actually going to use my AOE Studio Perfect BB Cream. My skin is just a little worse right now just because that certain things the same month if you know what I'm saying. Plus, I'm just not feeling myself, so we're just gonna do this. Rub this in, I'm just gonna go with it. This looks so good. I'm actually gonna be using Tarte Shape Shape today just because I'm just trying to use other products in my collection. Like, I've been using the same products as you all know. I'm just using my AOA Studio Pro Hit setting powder is normal but i'm not setting my eyelid it's very hard not to drag it up there so i think i want to do a video where i don't set my face and i use like all cream products i talked about that and the makeup techniques that make me uncomfortable and i could have done like cream this cream that like all liquid not setting like but that would have just taken way too long i could probably just do a separate video i feel like this is the most coverage i've had on my face in a long time and it doesn't look bad at all. I want to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce De Leche. I used this in Holy Girl products that have been replaced. I don't know if this would be weird, but I was studying. Should have been studying. I was just thinking, like, getting to know me, like, again. My idea was, like, speed dating with Allie. Asking, like, the most basic questions, like, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite drink? What's your favorite this, this, this? I don't know. I just thought that'd be funny and interesting. If you wanted to know that, obviously, if you didn't want to know, then you don't have to watch it that's what i was thinking let me know down below if that's something you'd be interested in i'm actually thinking of doing a little melon tour to my nose since when does that ever happen this is the aoa studio e136 and it like goes out but then also comes back into a taper so i just feel like this would be perfect for nose contour not that i ever contour my nose and i'm not good at it probably at all i just want to put some color on there it goes out right here and then goes back in here so i feel like contouring my nose just accentuate that now i'm gonna use this tarte party Amazonian clay blush. I feel like this is such a dry formula, which isn't bad because then it's not like that pigmented. You could literally just like swirl your brush and it's all day long. You wouldn't even overdo it. I haven't done my face on camera in so long. I feel like I'm blending that concealer out again, but I'm kind of like rubbing it. So maybe some of it would come off. And I'm going to put some of my Sandy Super Smooth Concealer in here because this is like my trusty old one. I'm just going to put a little on there for like the actual eyelid increase. So the eyeshadow I'm going to be using is the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette. And I'm using this lilac purple shade and i'm gonna dip into a little bit of this at some point as well i'm just gonna start off with the basic main color for the look the aoa studio e127 speaking of my eyelid not being set that refers back to a video that i did that no one has really watched <laughs> trying makeup techniques that make me uncomfortable that was a challenge that i just felt super passionate about i knew that it wouldn't do well but at the same time i still had some hope I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go with that more like hottish purple. And I like tabbed a bunch of influencers that I just felt like would look at it at least. It's not like I expected anything because I am so small. Plus they're so busy and they have like their own ideas obviously and they don't have time to be like doing a video that like a little two year old has done. I get it. Mariah Leonard she is the only one who liked my picture. This isn't about likes or views or anything. I'm just trying to talk to y'all because I, this is what's on my mind and like 
I'm just kind of like sad that it didn't do as well even though I knew it wouldn't. So I'm trying to say things are always like in the back of my mind, but at the same time they're not. I'm going to be using a different cream eyeshadow on my lower lash line, which I know doesn't make any sense, but I really liked the way it looked even though I didn't even mean to. This is the Clean Color White Wise Correcting Concealer Wheel. This was $1 and I'm just going to be using this lavender shade. You don't have to get a lavender cream eyeshadow. Most people probably have color correctors just because those used to be a really big thing. If you have a color corrector, use any of those colors for any pastel look because they're perfect for it. I'm trying not to get it up in the crease, but if it gets up in there, it's fine because this actually blends out surprisingly well. I'm going to go on with that lilac shade on my finger and set this shade. Blend the edges. I'm going to take the deepest purple and then mix it with the hot purple. The deepest purple doesn't even show up, so that's why I don't even care that I'm dipping into it like 20 jillion times. I just want a little bit of deepness. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take this E132 and I'm going to take that lilac and mix it with the hot purple. I'm taking this Santi Matte Eyes eyeshadow stick. I'm just going to add some very close to the lower lash line and just buff this out. And I do bring it up in my little wing that I actually haven't done in a while. And I really like how that looks. This is like a warmer purple and this is like definitely a cooler lilac. Now I'm going to go back in with this first brush. I'm just going to take the first lilac one and put it in. And just kind of go along just to kind of like set it in the corner with just my highlighter. First in with the white. And I'm going to also go in with the lavender. I actually do take this a little bit up just to get a little bit of something, something. We're going to do highlight and then I'll go do mascara and brows. For my highlight, I'm going to mix these three. So I'm going to just go in with those two first and then mix in like a dot of the, that. I don't really like this highlight highlight just because it's not that intense. So that's why I'm not doing it like by itself. Since I have done my brows a few times on camera, I'm going to go do those off camera and also do my mascara. Yum. I just also went and set that with my Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray, obviously. I gotta stick with the lavender theme for the lips just to go in with Moonchild. Because I really like my natural lip color with this, but I also feel like I want it less pink. So, I'm just doing two dots and then like... Patting it. Oh yes, this looks good. That was easy. <laughs> That's this look finished. So pretty. So this is the finished look. I really love this look so much. I also feel like this makes my eyes look super green because it's purple. I just feel like purple really enhances the green eyes. I do feel like this is kind of like more springy. Whatever, any look can be worn on your right eye. There's no rules to make. Leave any more colors you want me to do on this kind of look. I'm thinking maybe orange. I have done like an orange look in the past, but it wasn't really like a wash of orange. It was a little bit bold orange, so I could do orange. This is for like the lighter colors because I feel like a deep color just wouldn't really go with like the whole wash theme, you know? I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! I tried to go out of my hello.